And we're back in St. Paul, Minnesota, and I'm joined by Jeff Greenfield, my colleague, our chief political correspondent. Jeff, yesterday they were telling us all signs were go. John McCain got in the middle of it today and said, no way, no how. And I think if you want to know, just look at the signs that ring this convention. The slogan, not just of the convention, but the campaign, country first. It's the whole theme of John McCain's notion of service. And now by this act of fate, John McCain has a chance to say, this is what I mean. Now, he didn't have much of a choice, as you pointed out a few minutes ago, the spectacle of party-going conventioneers split-screened with what was going on on the Gulf Coast would not have been good. But he's taking, uh, he's taking the one act he had to take, and it just happens to fit the slogan of his campaign. He is really trying to focus the people here as well as the people across the country on what they ought to be focused on and that is the well-being of the people along the coast. And in the process he has one other great advantage. The Republican brand is in great disarray and by happenstance the extremely unpopular president and vice president of his party people he's trying to distance himself from will not be speaking at the convention at all. That has to be considered and I'm being very cold-blooded about this, a political advantage in the midst of this terrible story. Bob. You're talking about President Bush will not be here, Vice President Cheney will not be here. Yep, and there was no choice but, but to invite them. They are the head of their party. But I tell you, in the McCain camp, I doubt it is causing a great amount of sadness that they will not be here. What we're hearing now is that most of the speeches are actually going to be on the last night when you normally would hear from John McCain. We're told now that what the plan as of now is to have both John McCain and Governor Palin, his uh, governor, you know, his running mate, the governor of Alaska, they'll probably both speak on the last night. Yeah, I think the one danger is if, for instance, the two of them were to fly to the region, uh, that might be considered posturing. The last thing you need are political people, either him or Obama, down there in the midst of this. I had asked uh, uh, McCain's campaign manager, have you reached out to Obama to suggest any kind of joint effort? And they said, no, I'm waiting to see one of these two candidates do just that. We'll see. So. A very different campaign, that's for sure, at a very different convention than what these people came to Minnesota to Never see. Never seen anything like it.